Day nine and in Karaoke Arena one, the top two teams in Group B faced off for the top spot. America has a good record against Japan in wheelchair rugby, beating them in London 2012 for the bronze medal. Japan had all the motivation needed to beat the Americans this time around. The match started with high intensity as the scores continued to stay within a point of each other. In the EK, you'll just muscle across the line. What a play it is again from Japan as they use both brain and brawn. Wheeler's got to go. He is moving, but the clock is two. Is he going to find a lane across Rayoki? He'll score and level at 51. And with 0.9 of a second to go, we look to be going to extra time. It won't be Kazaki. And what drama. After America leveled the match in the closing seconds, Japan looked to do the same to take it into a second overtime. Long and strong is Wheeler. Can they catch it up? He doesn't see it, but he does on this side. Aoki will score it right back for the Americans. And that only takes just over a second. Oh, they've got to be quick. The Japanese inside Ikazaki. They can't do it. It'll be broken down, and the Americans have found a way. The Americans certainly found a way. The USA go top of Group B, beating Japan 57-56, and will face either Canada or Australia in the semi-final.